Hello students. Now, what do you understand by synthesis of sentences? How do you synthesize the sentence? Synthesis is making something. So what do you make? You make a sentence uh, which is simple, compound or complex from one given sentence. Supposing a simple sentence is given, you have to synthesize to make it compound sentence. You have to synthesize to make complex sentence. Now, uh, what what makes a simple sentence? When there's no coordinating and subordinating conjunction, then it's a simple sentence. When you put coordinators and but for either or neither not only but also, then it becomes a compound sentence. When you put a subordinating conjunction like which, what, who, till, until, before, though, although, even though, all these are subordinating conjunctions. When you put subordinating conjunctions, then it becomes a complex sentence. Now, in simple sentence, there's only one main clause, one subject, one predicate, and one finite verb. Whereas in compound, two main clause, each one has its own subject and predicate in the verb. Whereas in complex sentence, it has got one subject, the main clause has got one subject, one uh, predicate and verb. The subordinating clause will have its own subject and predicate and clause but it is not going to make any sense without the main clause. Main clause has to be there to make some sense. The dependent clause is dependent on the main clause. Now, you take an example. Survival of the fittest. You make into simple sentence. You have to be fit to survive. Now most of the time you will be making simple sentence with infinitive verb. Infinitive verb is one which you make with to. To win, to uh, eat, to sleep. So many verbs. So whatever verbs fit with to is infinitive verb and most of the time you will be making simple sentence with infinitive verb. So uh, you have to be fit to survive. Now I want to make into a, a compound sentence. So what I am going to put some coordinating conjunction to make it into compound sentence. So if, no you cannot use if. You have to be fit for surviving. What subordinate coordinator I have put? For. You have to be fit for surviving. For surviving. So now I have made it into a compound sentence. Because I have used a coordinator. For. Now same sentence I make complex sentence. So for that I have to make, uh, I have to put subordinator. You have to be fit so that you survive. You have to be fit so that you survive. So what is the subordinator I have used? So that. Now the dependent clause. So that you survive. There is a subject, there is a verb, but you cannot uh, make complete sense with the subordinating clause. You, the subordinating clause will depend on the main clause. And now after understanding this com complex sentence, you will be able to understand the clauses also very easily. So now let us see uh, uh, what synthesis of sentences, three types of sentences, simple compound Complex, if you put a co coordinating conjunction, then it's a compound sentence. You put a subordinating conjunction, it's a complex sentence. What are, you should know what is coordinating conjunction so that you make compound sentence. You should know what are subordinating conjunction to make complex sentence. So, and, but, for, either, or, neither, not, not only, but also yet. These are coordinating conjunction. 
subordinating conjunction one word which who that so that because if though although even though as since then till until before after why all this and many more all this are subordinating conjunctions so with this you'll be able to synthesize any type of sentence now let us take one more example i study to pass i study to pass I study for passing. I've used a coordinating conjunction for. I study for passing. Now, same sentence I make into a complex sentence. So, what uh, sub subordinating conjunction I put? So that I study. You have to put a comma after this main clause. This is main clause. So after that, you put a comma. You put a subordinating conjunction, and then you put the subordinating clause. I study so that I pass. Now this is a complex sentences. So this is how you synthesize different types of sentences. and you have to place the verbs uh, you have words in such a manner that it makes complete sense so this is how you synthesize the sentence and if you have understood this well how to make complex sentence your uh, understanding of the clauses will be very clear so bye